Hi there, uh, this is Mojo Dallas, and this video uh, is to discuss uh, the use of the Sound Font 2 to Sonic Pi uh, program. Actually, it's a demo of it running. Uh, and this uh, is described in an earlier video uh, and in the wiki. Uh, the details of what the sound font uh, file is used for and then what the resulting files uh, that get generated uh, for Sonic Pi uh, can be used for in Sonic Pi. But I just wanted to show you it uh, running. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, you run the program, which I have in this MIDI loop directory here. If you look at this, it's going to run against a uh, sound font file. So. Uh, I'll show you a sound font file just for grin. So, I mean, if we look at it, this is a sound font file, so good luck. I mean, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like uh, embedded and de uh, encoded, so uh, you can't really utilize that. And that's the reason uh, this program was written. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and run uh, a program, which is sound font to Sonic Pi. This is version 0. And you identify the file you want to run, and I've got a sound font file you just looked at. So let's go ahead and grab this name so I don't make mistakes typing. And you name a folder you want it to go to, and, and, and I encourage you to use the default folders. That is what uh, will. Uh, is used uh, is used by default inside of Sonic Pi uh, to to uh, uh, for the uh, sound font file. So if you use default and load your your uh, sound font files into default, uh, it'll work automatically in Sonic Pi. So I go ahead and run it, and it first of all uh, goes ahead and decompiles the sound font file, and then it builds all the files for. Uh, Sonic Pi, which are called uh, Pi SF files, uh, or Pi to Sound Pump files, and it builds the uh, uh, Ruby code as well. So, as if we looked at it, uh, it's all now in the default file. Uh, all the the Sound Font file, uh, the Pi Sound Font files, which uh, are utilized by Sonic Pi to uh, play the instrument. So, for every instrument, it created a Pi Sound Font file, and then if you look, scroll through here, uh, all the way through it, you'll find a bunch of WAV files. Uh, that are used by those uh, instruments. And that's all described in another video uh, and uh, also in the wiki. Uh, so that's all it takes to go ahead and uh, convert a sound file. Thanks for watching.